Hi guys, it's Paul and Thomas here. Hello. And this is a quick video using the REM CB OSD system in conjunction with a Bixler and we've got the uh, 5.8 gigahertz um, video RX TX system from Hobby King and also the cheaper version of the PAL camera that we're actually using. So um, this is basically it. It's up and running. Um, it worked pretty well, didn't it? Um, yes, until I realised that the um, altitude was a problem, so we had to calibrate it. Yeah, exactly. It's the um, If you look at the right-hand side, the middle of the screen, it's showing 10, 12, 13 metres high. Well, that's obviously wrong. Um, something actually went wrong. I think it was... I must have, it must have been still um, getting a GPS fix or getting a few more um, satellites. And as a result, it wasn't uh, correct. The reading was, as you can see, over, well, you can see it over here. It's showing eight meters high, and I'm well above eight meters high here. And I think it goes into negative numbers when I'm actually landing. So um, I think the thing I didn't do, is probably worthwhile once you actually start the system up, if you want an accurate, accurate reading of your altitude, is just to let it run for a little while. So it has a decent GPS fictions, and it's got enough satellites uh, and once it's got that then hit the reset button and it'll reset the home position and also the altitude to zero and that should give you an accurate reading yes just before that was dad flying past having a bit of an explore yeah i actually was i got carried away it's haven't been using the on-screen dis display much and i got carried away looking at the information that was in front of me and i ended up um flying a little bit too far away but here you go uh we're landing and we're at negative 15 16 17 meters so as you can see, that's out by a little bit. And it goes up. Yes. So here we are resetting and home position saved and it should reset back to zero. Yep, the altitude is right. There is young Thomas. There's our monitor that we use. We're still waiting on our um, FPV glasses, aren't we? Yes. Hopefully they'll come here eventually. So that's been a bit of a pain. So we don't have FPV goggles at the moment. So this is it with the altitude working a lot better this time. Um, speed is on the left hand side that's all working fine uh, voltage reading was fine it was quite windy today wasn't it uh, yeah and the Bixler handled it really well yeah yeah as you can see the aircraft's getting blown around a bit uh, we still haven't put the new antennas on yet we've got to do that so um, I can't think of anything else I would like to add to this anything else you want to say um, what not was... really just that um, it is good having the OSD um, so then you do know your airspeed and altitude but yeah, so it's, it was actually good when I was flying over the houses. I'm not sure how much of it we actually I've captured, but I was actually flying over these houses and um, I was sort of looking at the OSD and I normally I would have panicked in that situation, um, not knowing where the aircraft is, but having the actual arrow display, that's it's just a godsend. It's just fantastic because you know exactly which way you've got to turn to come back home again. It really takes the stress out of flying, doesn't it? Yes, it does. How did you find it? Um, for the bit that I flew, I found it really good. Um. Especially because I knew exactly um, where home base was, which is just there. Um, it was really good, so then I could like fly over us a lot. Well, that's right. You, a few times you actually aimed for us and went for a direct fly over the top of our heads, and you had no dramas doing that at all, did you? Yep. Um, so that's about it, is it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, here we are coming in for the final landing. Um, it, look, it worked really well. I, can't really flaw the system. I like the fact that you can actually customise it and lay things out the way you want and display the information that's of interest to you. Well, there you go. That's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget thumbs up and comment. See ya.